Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I'd just like to say hello and welcome to any new subscribers that I've had this week. Uh, welcome to my channel. It's another weekly update and I've had a good week on plan and I was kind of expecting maybe at least two pounds off. I've mixed it up slightly this week. I did a pea, onion and ham soup and I was doing that for my partner so I had that on a couple of occasions. Now I'm not a lover of soup at all but that is probably the only one that I like um, and I did that by getting the peas that you soak overnight and then cooking it the next day with um, some gammon that I cooked in the slow cooker, add that to it and onion and you just boil it up and it's really really nice and it gets nicer as the week goes on. Now I've also um, had quite a few eggs this week, so I've done quite a few boiled eggs um, and I've had that with fruit for breakfast on a few occasions and I also had grape nuts one day and I layered that up with the peach layered yogurts from Aldi that are sim free and just popped some frozen fruit on top, raspberries and strawberries. I made an order for JD seasonings and they came this week and there's a couple in there that I've not tried before so I'm going to try the Spanish chicken which I think is a new one and minted lamb one and um, so I'll get around to trying that and I just got the usuals like the fajitas one I absolutely love I got the burger blend I think I got another doner kebab and I got a few chili con carnies because I really like that chilli and I'm going to make that this week for some lunches. Um, I got 20% off my order using a code that I got off Instagram. If you're looking to mix it up a little bit and try some new recipes, there's quite a few to choose from. And you don't need too much ingredients, which I like. So for the chilli con carne one, it's literally your mince, your veg and your pot. And like your tin tomatoes or whatever and uh, with that one I added a tin of baked beans and it was really nice it was the best chili I've made so I'm really looking forward to making that again um, another recipe I'm going to try this week is the pinch of non beef stroganoff I saw that someone had made it on Instagram who I know who was following Slimming World and they really enjoyed it so I'm going to give that a go this week. I've just had to buy a couple of ingredients. I had to buy some mustard and some of the Philadelphia lightest. Um, now this week I've had a bit of a problem with my tooth, my wisdom tooth. So I woke up with it one morning it was really painful and I just kind of thought I wonder if I've just knocked it but it got to Friday and it still wasn't better and I didn't want to risk the weekend, you know, with the dentist not being open and what have you. So I got an emergency appointment on Friday and I've been and I've got an infection in my wisdom tooth. So it's quite painful and it's not great when you're eating because afterwards it really, really kills. So I've got some antibiotics and some mouthwash to use and then I'm going to go back for a filling at the end of the month. So... Um, now I went for a walk on Thursday night with my sister and my nephew and we took the two dogs with us and it was just, it was about 35 minute walk so that was good. Um, now we actually start a Run Smart group this coming Monday. Now I'm not fit at all but I will be fitter than I was six dawn nine and a half ago um, so I'm gonna give it a go and in the first week it's run for one minute walk for two times six now running for a minute I'll just do it I mean I don't think I've ever run for one minute in my life but I'm gonna give it a go and there's loads of other people going, it's a free group and I will try my best and I know that I won't want to be embarrassed, so I'll do it. Now week two is run one, walk one, times ten. Week three, run two, walk two, times six. Week four, run two, walk one, times seven. 
Um, it's a 10 week course and I'm going to be doing it with my sister and I think there's quite a few people going from um, my consultants groups so it should be good, fingers crossed. Um, now after the walk we did on Thursday, we went back to my mum and dad's for a little while because we took their dog with us and somehow it slipped out by my sister that I have a YouTube channel. So you can imagine my dad's face. He watches YouTube all the time on the telly. So they got me up on the big screen and I've got to say it was an absolute laugh watching my videos back with my dad, my sister and my nephew. Because my nephew's eight and he thought it was hilarious. And if I'm honest, they were all addicted by the end. They couldn't stop watching. Um, and part way through, my mum turns up from work. So we had a right laugh. And at least now they know they did it. And my mum actually said to me today, so when will you be doing your weekly update? So obviously I said tonight. And I'm quite glad they know, to be fair. Um, so that was quite funny. Um, now, I've been to weighing and... I'm terrible for it. I weigh myself at home and if I'm honest, I do it too often. I should just one week say I'm not going to weigh myself this week and just see what the scales say. But from the beginning of my journey, when I was 21 stone, just over 21 stone, I have took a picture every week of the weighing scales. So my first one was 21 stone and three quarters of a pound. And... I'm now 14 stone, what was that today? It was 14 stone, four and a half. So you can imagine how good it's been watching the scales come down from 21 stone. Yes, yeah, so I'm 14, four and a half, and it's a loss of six stone, four and a half. Plus my five that I lost, so it's six stone, nine and a half. But at Slimming World, it's officially six stone, four and a half. And this week I lost a pound. So at least it's coming off. When you've lost so much weight, it really does get more harder to lose. Um, and as I've said to you before now, there seems to be... Oh. I've just realised that the way lady... Must have put that sticker in there. That's strange because that's the first time I've seen that. She must have put it in there today and it says, You're blooming marvellous. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, bless her. I'll have to say thank you next week. Um, so I've got two and a half pounds to that six and a half stone award. And I want that over the next two weeks. I really, really want that. Um, just seems to be that around this kind of weight, I can't get any lower. Now, the lowest, I will get lower, but the lowest I remember being, because um, people always say to you, what, what weight were you happy at? And I can remember when I met my partner, I had a problem with my thyroid. And I actually didn't know about it. Um, when I look back, I actually can't remember how I felt, but what it was, um, I went to like a family do and my auntie was there and she used to be a nurse. And basically she just said to my mum, there's something not right about Natalie and I can tell from looking at her, so rise, you need to get her to the doctors and get her to have a blood test. So I did and my thyroid was three times what it should have been. Now, at that point, in six to eight weeks, I'd lost a few stone. Um, I couldn't sleep, and that's kind of all I remember. I ended up having to go to the doctors for sleeping tablets, and it was all because my thyroid was overactive and my pulse was as if I was constantly running it was, it was really, and you just felt it and it was just really, really fast. Um, so 
at that time when I lost all the weight I was 13 stone 10 that's the lowest I remember being and I felt slim felt slim for me because I'd always been overweight all the way through school high school I was always overweight as a child I wasn't overweight at that weight of 13 stone 10 I always felt slim now technically I'm eight and a half pounds from that and I'm not where I want to be I have set my target at 13 stone which is a stone and four and a half pounds away and I don't know whether I might knock that down to 12 and a half when I get there um, but I don't know what is maintainable for me because I never remember being that weight because I've always been so big um, but we'll see and I'd love 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 to be at Target for my birthday which is on the 1st of May and that would be the best birthday present to me um, my Slimming World anniversary is the 11th of April so if I could get it by then that would be fab as well so um, I'll let you know how the Run Smart group goes um, I've planned out all my meals for this week um, I'm going to make the pea, ham and onion soup again. I'm going to share that with my partner. I'm going to make a chilli for lunches. Maybe I need to have a think about what I'm going to have for breakfast. Um, instead of the boiled eggs, what I might do is I might do a quiche. Or I might do an omelette. I've got plenty of other stuff in. I've got porridge. But I like to save my healthy extra beef for the evening when I can have my high fi bars at supper. Um, so we will see. Um, teas, like I said, I'm going to try the beef stroganoff. We're going to um, have the ye old sausage shop burgers again because they were so good. Um, what else are we having? We're going to do Nando's one night. Uh, and that will be Tuesday after my partner gets weird. So he did his first full week on Slimming World this week and he lost £11.5 which was amazing um, it's just keeping it up now um, the consultant actually said that he'd brought the record uh, for losing the most that anyone's ever lost in that group so fingers crossed he'll get another good loss on Tuesday so that means I actually attend two Slimming World groups in a week and I enjoy staying to both of them um, so that's really good now obviously I don't have to pay to stay to that one I just sit there and listen they're probably all thinking why is she not doing it why but when they came to me uh, on Tuesday and asked him how he'd done it um, I just said I am a, he basically said that I'd cooked and what have you so I said um, I am a member I just don't get weighed at this group so obviously they all know now they're not just thinking well she looks a bit overweight so why is she coming with him and not doing it herself uh, that's what I was thinking in my mind anyway um, so let me know how you're getting on um, please leave me a comment down below please like this video if you've enjoyed watching it and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell which will notify you when I upload a video and I'm really going to try and do some more videos. So maybe some recipes, what I eat in a day. I just wanted to show you this new Hydrate Mate bottle briefly. Um, two parcels arrived this morning for my partner. And he said, oh, I wonder what this is. So I'm looking over and thinking, mm, I don't know. And he pulled this out. So he bought this as a surprise for me because I'd seen it on Instagram. It's one of the new Hydrate Mate bottles. And it says, shredding for the wedding. So I just thought I'd show you that. Really, really like that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another update. Bye.